Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of the Scavenger series. And ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our next upgrade on the defective wall. We've got ourselves the metal scissors and also the tool set that we need. So we're gonna get the upgrade going. We're gonna need three hours to get that done. And while that's being done, we can also mop up the floor again, which is amazing. So these uh, current penalties will go away. I believe this is the last thing we'll need to be doing. We're dismantling the wall. I should have a thing up on the screen that we're going to be needing to get to next to be able to get into the actual uh, next area itself. So we're going to have to start working towards that today. Beyond that, I don't think there's anything else we can really do. I mean, laboratory is the next thing, actually. That's what we can do next. I need to get the parts for the defective wall and also find one more screwdriver. Sorry, one more screws and then also couple electric drills. I need two of those, I believe I said from the last episode. So we do have a few things we need to grab. So we need to go out and do that today. Everything's looking pretty darn good in the stash. I'm pretty happy with it. Although some of the stuff is going to get sold. I have a bunch of this stuff still sitting around. I will be looking through all this stuff. We should have enough spots for a another raid. And then after that, we'll come back here and do some organization of what we're going to keep and what we're not going to keep. So we'll do that pretty much right after this next upcoming raid. So let's head out. Everything else is looking pretty much where I wanted to get done today. And let's see what we can make happen. Are you ready? Time to hit up every single construction site and toolbox that I can basically find. And we got a last card apparently. So we need to get a leap pliers, two light bulbs, two wires, a tool set. And that's gonna have us ready for the next part of the defective wall. So we are pretty much good to go for all that fun stuff but then of course i need to go make a list for the uh, gym and some of the other stuff too but we'll get there we'll get there electric chills is the other thing i need to find here aware aware is going to be the best place for that i'm not quite certain yet what in the world is happening right now y you guys good I i've never seen that ever okay Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Let's go take a look around and see what we can find and bring with us today. Let's take a look through here. Got a bunch of drinks. We are getting obviously close to our soon to be first PMC run, so I do need to make sure these are very effective runs before we get to that. Now that's like super important. I mean, we're just gonna be working on quests and whatnot to get as moving forward progress with the scab, but still, we wanna make sure that we're being efficient at all times. Nothing there. Let's go see if there's a drill in this next room. Mm, nothing there. Okay. So we've got these guys. Obviously, the construction site is going to be one of the biggest places for us to check, but we'll slowly be sure to make our way that way. I need to go check those computers that are behind to, to our right. Thermite. Sure, we'll take some more thermite. Never say no thermite. It's always fun. Of course, keep an eye out for any players. There was some shooting, so we definitely know there's people around here. And with the recent update, with like the armor again changed, people are definitely seemingly slowly but surely making their, their way back to the game. So I expect us to have more competition coming up soon, which is very nice. Open up the door, see what we got. We do have a box, nice. I'm really heavily relying on toolboxes right now to have what we're looking for. Specifically that right there. Nice tool sets. I love it. I'm so happy I said it because that's specifically what I was hoping for. We needed to find another one too, but we'll get there. I uh, don't need any RAM. I need wires. Wires, wires, wires. Like that one. I need one more. Now, we do have fuel, so we can technically speaking get, some, get the cables and... Start working on it ourselves. Did I ever check this one? No, I did not. Once we get the, uh, like, the, what we call the cables, we can start making our own. But still, I want to make sure that we get as much as we possibly can. So we need for a few things. Got a mask. Car battery. Nice. I will take that, actually. Another one. We'll add another one there. I should have... Okay, we got the shaft. We got the catacombs. I'm very surprised that we did not get our exit over at the manhole. That's very strange that we didn't actually. Hmm. No, well, it is what it is. Oh, I don't know if that's a player or 
scavenger. Huh? He looked very PMS PMC ish. And with my double barrel with buckshot, eh, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna go inside here and do some looting. I don't think we have the ability to kill him. So someone's been through here. As seen by the trip laser, as you can see. I will obviously try to attempt to kill this guy if he's around. Got some armor and stuff on the ground too. Which I don't have, so I can grab that. Ooh, he's got a rifle on the ground too for us. Let's see if there's any any type of ammo inside this right now? Oh, there is. Oh, okay. Obviously, there's only probably like two or three shots in this thing, but still. Give me the opportunity. I'll take his head off. Give me a second. It's not, he shouldn't be hard, hard to spot. He's got a big purple backpack on. But I don't know where he went from here, obviously. Oop. I think I have an idea where he went. Or that was someone else. Who knows? Keep checking along here. All right. If anything, I just want to get out with the tool set. The tool set is the most important thing for me to get out with right now. Because for me, for some reason, they're they're coming harder to find, which is very weird to say. There's the last screw nuts that we needed. Keep searching through. Or money items. Well, we have more toolboxes we can check. A lot of toolboxes. That's why I like this map. My favorite things about this map is the fact that there's so many of them. I guess it's going to be a shush, which I technically... I think I need that, actually. I'm going to grab that. I need to find that TNT still. So I'm going to continuously check these grenade boxes. Hopefully we get lucky with the TNT. Nope, but... And we'll take that. We'll take the Vogue 25. Why not? Put that there. Drop those shells. Another shush. A green battery. I think I'm good on the green batteries now. I believe that's the last one that I need. Keep on searching. He asleep. I don't need you. Yeah, I think after we finish up this run, we're definitely going over to interchange to get the light bulbs and the wires because then we'll be basically all set and ready to go. And we should be able to find the elite pliers there too. I'm going to grab the police just in case I do need the extra one. I don't believe I need it, but on the off chance, you know, better to have it than not have it. Check in. There's the wires. Okay, so the wires. Oh, there's a light bulb too. I completely forgot you get light bulbs inside toolboxes. Don't ask me how. I forgot, but I did forget. Hand drill. Oh my goodness. This is like the best run ever. This has obviously all been looted, but I am going to check it anyway. Money. All right. I am extremely. Actually, I don't know. I'm not that way down right now. I thought I was way down more than I am, but. All right. This is good. This is good. These are all items that we needed to add to our collection. What in the world am I looking at right now? Is that a scab? That is a scab with a bag like that. Who did you loot? Look at this thing. Bro, do you see the scab? Come look at him. My dude went and looted somebody. He decked out. Damn. My Atlanta. Oh, all right. I get the picture. I get the picture. I'm backing up. <laughs> that scab just pulled out that gun. Like, look, back up. All right. I found it. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll leave you alone, AI scan. I'm, I'm gonna get out with what we got. This is actually com completely fine. What we what we need. Plus, I don't want to get too far down my luck and then end up getting killed. 
or run into the exit. So we need to get on to, to the ventilation shaft, which is a little bit farther than I would like to have to go. So I was hoping for the manhole to be the exit. But hey, can't always get what you're hoping for. Now, the more scab wrap we get, obviously, the more chances we'll have to actually get those exits. So it'll be nice. Well, I'm, I'm quite certain once you get to like six scab rep, you have every single uh, exit available, which is amazing. So I do remember on one, of the, I think it was the first or the second seats. I don't remember which one it was exactly. But we ended up having like, we come to like streets. And as soon as we got to streets, we'd be able to exit like immediately right next to like the, I think it was the basement, basement entrance. I think it was, I think it was the basement entrance. That's pretty amazing. You can usually do like a little bit of looting and boom, you're out. All right, let's not break a leg. Another one. Is it two? Oh, we could risk it. We could risk it. Stop that. Um, I'm gonna make this work. I think I can make this work. Can I not make this work? I don't think I can. I mean, if I keep the shush, get rid of the shush. Gimme. Because I don't think I can make it work any other way. Well, actually, no, I can't. All right, that's the side of it. We're taking it. I'd rather have the batteries because those are the more annoying ones to find. Because we can find spark plugs later on for the quest for therapists anyway. So I'd rather have those ready to go. So let's start heading towards the exit as I'm lagging for whatever reason. But let's lag away to the actual ventilation shaft. Now I did say I was going to go directly to the stash after this one and start cleaning up a little bit. Now let's be honest, I say things a lot and sometimes it doesn't actually happen. So oh, we're not actually going to go to the stash right away. I'm going to drop everything that we have off into like the junk box and whatnot because I completely forgot that I actually purchased that and had stuff put into it. So we don't exactly need to immediately go back to clean stuff up. Probably by the end of this episode, we'll go back there and get make sure that we clean up some of the armor that we don't need, some of the bags and whatnot. But we're going to continue with this momentum. I hope that we can keep up the luck that we're getting right now. Because right now, this is looking very, very, very good for us. Very excited. Because I know at least we have the laboratory ready to go. So we have a, hopefully some more luck on our side for the other items we're going to need. We're going to change have everything I need, please. Just like Streets did. Uh, well, nothing too good, but we can at least get some healing set up to... Good enough. Good enough. Now the nice thing is though is that we like like I said we have the defective wall set up. We've got the well other than the light bulb. We need one more light bulb. Um, and then of course we've got ourselves the laboratory also all ready to go as well. Now it's just pretty much the matter of getting another electric drill, another tool set, and a bunch of other items needed for the gym setup. So we've got a little bit more to go, but it's fine. I'm excited. We're getting there. And everything is looking very, very good indeed. Although I am surprised I've yet to find a, a TNT block yet. That surprised me. Typically, we've already found one by now. But it's all good. It's all good. We're not quite there yet anyway. And apparently, of all the glass I could have hit, I hit the side of the middle. Love it. But now I say this, it's still pretty far away. And it's getting kind of close. I mean, once we get that gym up and running, it's only going to take us one little run of it to actually get to Endurance Level 1. And Endurance Level 2 is only going to take me two episodes at the most. It won't take us long. I think I said last episode it'll take me like two or three raids. That, that's that's not how that works. Let me just clarify that. Uh, I What I meant to say was it's going to take us two raids. Or two episodes, not two raids. So, yeah. Let's take a look here. Nothing else. All right. Well, at least we found the light bulb. The light bulb is what we need. I think. Well, no. Oh, sorry. The defector wasn't there. We need the elite pliers, but we're on interchange, and we all know interchange is pretty known for having what we need. So let's keep looking. Grab a few more light bulbs that we're going to need later on. Guess analyzer, but I have all three of them, so I don't need them. That one can stay right where it is. CPU. Everything else is looking good. Alright, we need to get to the back of the mall. Back of the mall to look what we're looking for. I think we're gonna go through Rasmussen first though. Hopefully this time I don't miss a GPU inside of a box like I did. I went back and I looked at that footage. It was like the the, the GPU was on the on the screen for probably 0.5 seconds, if that. Maybe even 0.3 seconds, and you guys saw it. Which was like when I first went back, I was like, there's nothing there. And then I looked, 
Lo and behold, inside this box was the GPU. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. You know, when you think that you're all set and there's nothing here, someone's able to point it out and find it for you. So I'm gonna double check all these open boxes then, just in case. But it looks like we're good. All empty, moving on. I will say this, if they want to put out another event for the game, I won't say no. Because uh, I, I would really like the I, like the fact of getting myself... I thought I heard somebody. I really like the idea of having lower scab times again. I really miss that. That was so, so nice. I was going from like three to four minute raids to now 25 minutes in between. Oh, goodness gracious. But it gave me time to work on some other videos like Sea of Thieves and also working on our other series of Grey Zone, so it's nice. I get to kind of get between, like, back and forth between all those. Grab that. But some days, there's some days I just want to just put all my focus on to the scavenger series and it's like, I can't. And there's just, there's no progress to be, to be worked towards. I can't do it. Also, I need that. Grab the wrench because I need to be collecting for the next upgrade on the, I almost forgot the name of it, the nutrition unit, which honestly, I don't think I have all the parts for, and Ollie would have one of the things I need. So we're gonna backtrack here in a second and go back to Ollie. We need to get two of the, oh gosh, I don't even know what they're called. It's like the lubricant stuff that you need. That's in like those like tannish bottles. So we will need to go back and grab those. Need another one of those little wrench things. Let's grab that. Is that what I need? No, those are, those are not elite pliers. Game, that is not what I needed. Look around. Nothing. And nothing. I'm also hoping for the off chance that someone's going to accidentally put in in the fence a 60 round magazine. That would be hilarious if they did it. But so far, so, so far, nothing's really even happened. I, I basically just sit inside the stash and refresh over and over and over it, at, on fence and see if he's going to have what he what I'm looking for. But no luck just yet. But you, you never know. There could be that random chance of someone going, you know, I just don't feel the cab in this and I don't feel like repairing it. Sell. You know, what I'm really hoping for is someone doing that with items from like the, oh gosh, what are they called? Raiders. The Raiders are the ones that I'm hoping they're going to look at those guns and go, nah, not worth repairing. And just throw them away. Eh. Obviously, I'm going on a little more of a risk with um, not having healing on me, but it's fine. It's fine. Drop on the mags. I guess this is more of like a, a money run at the moment. So I'm not finding anything else. So I'll take the money at least. No bag in there. Let's go check over here in this corner. There is indeed a toolbox. Give us what we desire, which is not bad. I think we've had it a few times there where we, we dropped all of our items and realized, ooh, I shouldn't have done that because now I have nothing to defend myself. I have a feeling one of those moments is going to happen again, but it's fine. It's fine. I was going to keep the vault grenade, but we've already got one. I don't need the master set. And it looks like this is all clear. So that means we're over to, we're heading over to Ollie. See if we can find some of those other things. And hopefully we'll find some dead scavs too, because I need a bigger backpack and a bigger rig. All things considered, our, pro our progression is looking very good. We weren't even this close on the last season, so I'm very happy with what we're doing. Security, I can take the armor. And you have nothing else that's really worth me. Really hope one of those guys would have a bigger rig, but it does not look like you do. Well, what do you got? That's a bigger rig. Nice. I'll take that. Yeah, I, I went back and looked at, the, looked at some of the footage from season two. Man, we are doing way, way better. Very like happy to say that too. Because I try to you know keep the progression ahead of whatever the, the previous season was. And a lot of it's just luck based. Let's be honest. Like with this game, you may get the closest and luckiest spawns in the world. Sometimes you may get literally nothing. And kind of whatever is dealt to you in those moments. We got another hose. I don't I don't think I need all these hoses, but I might as well take them with me just in case because I have five or six of them already, which should be enough for the basically all the other stuff we need to upgrade. And I say this 
and I think I'm correct, but I could also be totally off and I'm going to need like a million other things. I think that rig's actually better. That's yeah, way better. Take this instead. I've also got an AK, which I could take instead. Take that. Drop, drop. Drop the drink. And we'll take that. Now, as far as the drink situation goes, someone did leave a comment. Why don't you work on like the... The metabolism for the scab, you might as well since you're gonna be out there and, and seeing a bunch of different food. I do plan on doing that. That's a dead player right there. Um, but the way I'm going to do it, oh, another dead player. The way I'm going to be doing that is just get the crap out of me, dude. Uh once we get the PMC up and running with the setup for the gym, that's when I'm gonna start working on the metabolism for both of them. Uh, bigger bag, actually, yeah. Take this. Drop the sling. Because my idea behind it is I'm going to work on the scab rep. Or not scab rep, but work on the scab metabolism while I'm searching for food for the actual PMC2. That's one of the items I needed. Yoink. Taking that right now. I also need two phase arrays. I'm pretty sure. We'll go back and look at the unit, but I, I do need something else. And for some reason, I'm blanking on what I need exactly. So yeah, I was grab some of like the, the not very good food, so it will slowly start working on the scab, and then we'll keep the good stuff for when we're working in the gym. Because obviously, if you guys don't remember from the last couple seasons, or if you're completely new to the series, another way for us to level up the scab is to slow, or not scab, but work on the workout leveling the PMC is by doing the gym and your metabolism. It's another hose. Do I have a spot? I do. The way it works is every single time that you use the gym, your energy and your water go down, and then you can replenish it while you're in your stash with your drinks and your food, and that will also give you XP from metabolism, which will give you ultimately like two to three hundred XP or sometimes 150 XP towards your actual level. It's a very fun system, and we learned very early on that you can level up a, an account like that, which is amazing. Nowadays, you don't even have to do that. You can just go play Arena, and Arena will level up your account for you. So, you know, it is what it is. But still, that was, like, the coolest thing I ever found a way to level up your PMC without ever touching your character ever. And I also thought about making that happen again this season. But I was like, let's change it up a little bit. I'm still obviously going to make everything happen through the scab, but we got to bring the PMC out for a little bit of action, you know, to get progression. Because that was one thing that was missing was getting out into the world and working on progression beforehand. Anything else that we're going to need here? Not really. All that lovely loot that I had sitting in the last couple of seasons was just sitting there. Never got used. This time around, it's going to get used. Going to be used and have a lot of fun glory happen with it. And there's the other one I needed. Nice. I was thinking we were going to definitely find two of them, so... I'm happy I was correct on assuming that. Is that a shush I needed? That is the shush I needed. Let's drop. Mm, we can drop one of these. Drop one of you. Like that. And we'll take the shush. Because I will need the shush for some of the upgrades. So I'm going to start grabbing those. Now the one thing I need to start doing is I need to start looking for those light pliers. Because if I don't find those light pliers then this whole progression is just going to be kaput. Phase array. Need you. I'm with me. Gonna grab the other light bulb just in case I needed an extra one. I don't believe I do. I believe I have everything that I need. But you know, on the off chance, I want to make sure I'm ready to go no matter what. And get to new search, of course. Hey, hey, Aww. It was a far stretch that we were actually going to find something useful, but still. I have a feeling someone's already gone through all this. Pretty much all the big loot spots have already been hit. Another hose! Sure. Why not? We will take it. We will take it. We are on that side. We could hit up the stashes on the side of Interchange quickly. As we're on our way out, we might as well do that. And look out just in case there is somebody running around. I think we're good though. Chop off this. Hopefully both of them are here. I, I've had the unfortunateness of only seeing one or one one the stash or the other, but never both of them at the same time. So I'm hoping we get lucky this time around. 
that and hopefully no one's actually touched them. If someone's actually touched them, then well, that's kind of sucks. Kind of defeats our purpose. Look here. Not there. Oh, all right. Well, maybe the other one's here. Dang, wow. I get it. All right, fine. I, I get it, Nikita. You don't want me to have mustaches. All right, all right. Is what it is. We're moving on to where I don't really know where we're going to go next. I mean, I could continuously run interchange or run streets. But I do want to go other places, obviously, and try to get a little more like excitement. My original plan, like three or four episodes, was to go to Ground Zero, but that's just risking my raids. And I, I prefer not to do that. Six to how close the spawns are at. And even sp spawning as a scab, you're a very likely chance to run into a lot of different PMCs, and it doesn't typically go very well. Because you don't just spawn in with just the low levels, you also spawn in with the high levels, which is fun. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, playing that map safe. At least for our case, we're, we only have 20 raids before running our first PMC run. I want to be fully ready for all that. But either way, I'll figure where we're going next, and I'll see you there. Ah, oh, the Tarkov gods knew I wanted to come here. Wish she had a bigger backpack. All right, we are here on Shoreline. The Shoreline's got a ton of different places we can check at this one little village. Now, if you guys haven't figured this out by now, over the seasons and seasons and seasons of me doing different games of like Great Riches or whether it's Scavenger Series, this is like one of the best places to come. Well, there is no hidden stash here. That kind of makes me sad. Because there are so many different places with like tools uh, and just like options of getting really good stuff. I have the 322 key actually, so I don't need that. I do not need that key. It could stay there. So we're going to just search this whole village and hopefully we find what we're looking for. The nice thing is we don't have to go far for our exit. Because our exit is literally at the lighthouse. Because the other ones we have to take, we can go to the gym entrance or we get the road to customs. So technically speaking... Well, no, no, Rose Customs on the other side. Never mind. <laughs> I'm thinking of a whole different part of the map. So we are here. We're going to search and find all the items we need. And I'm just going to basically just search everything that I can. Hopefully we can find what we need. Like I said, Electric Trail will be the biggest thing we can find. If we can find another tool set, obviously, that's really huge for us. If we find any grenade cases, I need to make sure I, search, like, make sure I search them all. Come on, come on. Give us what we need. And then if I can find a lead player, obviously, that is something I'll be taking as well. I'm actually surprised it took me this long to actually come to this map. I think I was just I was just holding off. I was like, eh, we could do it now, or we could wait later, later on, and then finally to hit this map and see what we can find. Because there is also, like, there's this place here, obviously, where I, I the village where I love to search. But there's also the new area that they've added to Shoreline, which is that camp that's above the resort area. And I do like checking that as well. If that's got some other good places for us to potentially find what we're looking for too. But do I want to travel that far is the question. Probably not, it's probably not. Search everything. Give me everything I deserve. Ooh, maybe, maybe. Uh, I was really hoping it wasn't gonna be that. But it, unfortunately it was, unfortunately it was the stupid master kit. Shouldn't call it stupid. I mean, there's some crafting I could do with it technically. Keep on searching. Now, I've had a lot of questions from you guys for those who have been enjoying the Ride to Riches series. Uh, I will be bringing it back very soon, actually, because I need to finish up that series. I'm not going to leave it unfinished because that would not be cool of me whatsoever, especially for those that have been wanting me to finish up the series so they can, you know, say, hey, you finished it. Congrats, and I got to experience it. So, Gray Zone is probably going to be ending in, like, say, three or four episodes. We're at, we're at, like, 93 quests out of, like, 130. And if I can continue doing the quests as fast as I am right now, which I am kind of doing, like, the rush on it. There's not a lot of stuff to really gain from it. But I want to make sure that when I can when I start a series, I'm actually completing these series from now on. Instead of, like, just, like abandoning them there are some that are just not been worth for me to continue which is why i've like from a lot of these other series i've been putting out i don't really call them series anymore i just call them hey let's check out the game let's see if it's worth us checking out if not we'll move on to something else i've done that with a few games mostly like i did like in shrouded recently and shrouded didn't get a lot of like excitement to the game so i just said no 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 we're not gonna do this we're gonna move on to something else 
I think someone's already looted this side of the map. At least it seems like that. Now I'm all the way up. Come on. There we go. So for those that are kind of curious on what's going on, that that's the plan right now. And then we'll hopefully we'll have enough time to finish up the Red Ridge series coming up here before the end of this of the uh, the actual wipe. I'm guessing we have until August, and right now it's still June, almost into July. So we have time. We definitely have time to work on all the stuff. Get a little jump up here. Yeah, it's still been looted. Set the boxes. Oh, good. Oh, good. As long as they haven't searched like everything on the other side here, it would be good. If they did, then hey, guess what we're doing? We're going all the way to the other side and checking out that encampment. Because <laughs> I'm not leaving here with very minimal loot. I'm leaving with full pockets and everything I can show for it. Playlist. Left some stuff inside the stashes. It looks like they did. Good. Take all that. Keep on looking. Because I do want to get more looks into some of the armor. That uh, armor changes that they did to the game. And I think the Red Riches series is a lot more of a way to do that versus this series. So I definitely want to check that out. Ooh, a bigger backpack. Amazing. Drop that. Oh, I don't need the tank helmet. I don't need that gun. Unless he's got the mags on him here. Did he have the mag on there? Oh, he did. Okay. It's full too. Uh, I lied. I will take this gun then. I wasn't going to take it if it didn't have the magazine on him. And it's full too. Good. Alright, so I've got something to fight with long range then. That, I am actually okay with. And this looks like, yes, it's been all looted. So someone's gone through my area. The sneaky little buggers. You go through everything. Yeah, maybe. Let's go see if they've entered this house and checked all these different rooms. I don't remember there being a tool set in there before, but sure, that's pretty cool. Give me what I desire. That is not what I desire. Also, looking at the requirements for the nutrition unit too, I'm pretty sure we have everything now. If I remember right, we did actually get four wrenches. If anything, I just had to collect one more. But for the most part, everything seems to be collected, which is nice. Search all this stuff. Nothing there. Search these. I'm just also looking for some some keys too. If I can find some good old keys, I'll be very happy. It doesn't look like he's looted this room. So that's kind of a W for us right there. Come on. No, darn it. No W on that one. Ah, I'm gonna have to I'm definitely gonna have to make an interchange run again to hope for those elite pliers because I'm just not getting lucky with them. Really hoping I was gonna get lucky during this run. Well, it's not done yet. We still we still have a chance. Still have a chance. How much time do we have? We have 20 minutes. We have a lot of time to work with this. A lot of time. I thought we had way less time than that, so we are looking good. Looking very good on time. Looking in there. I missed one of the boxes over here. In there, but we got the box outside. Come on, give us what we're looking for right here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we got a tool set. That is big. Big, big, big. That's another item that we need to get down. Keep on searching. No. Okay, there's there's nothing there, so that's okay. We can climb over this. I don't care about the bag or the coach right there. We're going to go check the back room over here. It's always been this big open area right here. Probably has been. I just never really noticed it. But there is a little shed back here that's got a few different spots for me to check for the loot. And it's all here too, which is good. Come on. Hold X. Okay. Don't need any of that stuff. I, mean, I really don't even need the bull backs, but I'll take it anyway. Need the whiskey. I don't think I'm gonna find it here either. I'll take the WD-40. Um. Oh, also, we do need a sweet. We do need to actually clear out the box too. I realized. Um. Yeah, we actually are full on the scab scab box. Some of the items are kind of sitting loose. So 
We're gonna sell some items as well as also do some upgrades, which will give us some room as well. Come on, I'll check these just because we're coming past it. Not worth it. I'm gonna check those bags too, because we may maybe be able to find what we're looking for inside the red bags here. There's three of them usually in this room. Sugar. Some money. And let's go check upstairs, because there should be one more upstairs. There it is. Elite pliers, elite pliers, elite pliers, elite pliers. Nope. All right, well, I have a lot of room left. It doesn't look like a lot of room, but there's a lot of the items that I actually want to keep. So I am going to actually head to that encampment. Since I have 20 minutes left, or you know, 18 minutes left, it'll probably take me like three or four minutes to get over there, which is fine because it'll be enough time to check the other stuff. But then I need to get my butt running all the way to road to customs. So let's get moving. Okay, we do need to hurry up. This took me a little longer than I expected. I mean, we, we were pretty much right at the four minute dot, but I was hoping I'd be able to run a little bit faster to get here. But uh, yeah, no, to no one's avail. I wasn't able to make it look faster. Run to the fence here. I came to the specific back part though, because around this area here, there's a chance to find some loose loot that's worth it. So I am going to check this first before we head down to the encampment to my right. WD-40, spark plug, some duct tape. We're gonna duct tape, we don't need any more of that. And nothing here. All right, let's get down here. We need to search pretty much the little buildings, or the two, not little buildings, the two buildings in front of us. There's loose loot all around them, plus some containers that we can search as well. There's also a good chance of finding loot on just the, the other side of the building that we're looking at right now. Just, I'll show you, obviously. This area's got some pretty good, decent loot that, yes, people do come to, but I feel like it's not the most popular place, so I think we'll be fine. Jump down here. Run along. Let's get to some searching. Hey, elite pliers. Boom. Exactly what I need. Thermite as well. Yeah, this definitely has not been touched. This is amazing. Nothing else. We got some weapon parts that I do not need. Check the racks here, see if there's anything else. Xenon. Some more tubes, but I don't need any more tubes. I, I have too many at this point. Too many. I'll take some screws, though. Basically looking for parts that I have not seen for a while and grabbing those. That's some plex. Yeah, plex there. Nothing inside that container. Search it. This is a rations one, so I don't actually need anything from that. Although, how's my rat? How's my looking? Okay, we're looking fine. Heck tape. I'll take those. Get some scabarinos around us. Uh, I will. I'll take that and drink that. Just to make sure we're good. Especially if I do. If I do fi finally run into somebody, I want to make sure I have something to drink in case my stomach goes out. I think we're clear. I'm gonna double check these back tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I was thinking too. Some adrenaline. There's some more thermite inside that. Oh, the thermite. All right. And then there's also some more items in here too. I got a screwdriver, but I don't need the screwdriver. It's really hoping that would have would have been. Spawn for electric drill, but we do have some options down here. So let's get moving down below and see if we can find what we need. Ooh, spark plugs. I guess actually now would be okay to start grabbing those. All those. I, I believe I have all the batteries. I may be one battery short for when we get to the quest for, uh, for what's the person's name? <laughs> Therapist. Therapist is the person's name. I forgot. Medical chest. Let's see what we got in here. Don't need any of that. Some cords. Some cords I can turn. Well, I'm getting so lucky on all of thermite. It's getting kind of nuts. Take that. Don't need any of that stuff. That's rations. I don't need the rations. Oh, okay, never mind. That's just a scope. Scope holder. 
We'll check this and then we'll check this little table over here. We can call it matches. Good on metal parts now. I don't need that. Check the tables here. And I believe we are good. All right, I'm going to take this as a win. Mostly considering we got ourselves the pliers. Oh, I want to get those out. But we got the tool set, so I'm happy with that. Now we just need to go back to most likely streets at some point, and I need to get myself a chance to find a, the other electric drill. And the other stuff will be all easy else to find. I'm very happy about that. Because that's now pretty much everything we need for the gym to get the setup for. And again, we're, we're keeping on track to what we're, what, we're want, what we're trying to achieve. I'm just happy we got it all done within a reasonable amount of time. And I did all that looting in like four minutes. That was amazing. I thought it was going to take me a lot longer than that. That's so why I kind of panicked. I'm like, ah, oh, hurry. In case I did find more loot that I have to like decide what I want to take, what I don't want to take. I guess if I really wanted to do more thorough looting, I could have. But for my crazy, like going through and looting everything as fast as possible. I think we still got everything that was pretty decent. Some D fuel there. Anything that I don't want? Guess I could drop the mag now. Take that. Sure, we'll take that. And then we're right around the corner from customs, which is awesome. Got a scab over there. Ooh, you know, before we do exit, I believe there is that grenade case over here that I want to check. What's up, boys? Protection squad. Wow, there's a lot of you. Holy cow. What is that six or five? That eh, may be five right there. Wait, is that not a crate I could check? It is. Big. TNT, TNT, TNT. I'll never know. I'll never know what that last one is. Oh. Who knows? Who knows what that is? First things first, before we do anything, let's get the laboratory up and running. Boom. Let's give me three hours for that to be completed. No big deal. Let do its thing. Uh, we still got 32 minutes on an effective wall. Yes, that was three hours originally. That shows you how long it takes me to actually make these episodes. Just sure where. Uh, unit two. Yes, well, we are completely good to go on this guy. That's amazing. So now we just need to get ourselves, uh, what, laboratory? Yeah, laboratory two. Then we're good to go. Once that's done, we should have everything for the next upgrade on the defective wall. So we're looking good on that one as well. Now we need to go over to the traders. More specifically, we need to go to therapist because 9% of the stuff is going to get sold over to you. Let's open this guy up and let's take a look at what I can sell because I know I've got stuff in here that is completely useless to me. I don't need. Take one of those out. So I kid, I don't need. This guy I don't need as well. I know there's more. I just, I just, I'm looking at the stuff and I and then I get kind of blind to it. I don't need the awe. I don't need you. All these items are just picked up for the money. And I think that was it. There's two batteries there. I thought I had a third battery somewhere. So if that's the case, I still need two more then. Huh. Maybe I was way off my assumption. Which I probably was, let's be honest. I got three more of these hoses left, plus three more down here, so I got nine in total. That's amazing get that sold I know I got more stuff so this can get sold because I've got that one right there specifically kept that on me just to make sure or let's kept this open so make sure I had one of those already so that so this I'm gonna hold on to the keck tape because I may need that still because I do I do need to have the 60 round mags so I may have to craft them myself do you feel can get sold let's do this or this or this I can sell the coffee onto these screws and, and the nut and the nails as well because I'm going to need those for making up the next upgrade on the the shooting range that's what I was looking for obviously need to hold on to that guy or at least two I don't think I need all these defuels I feel like I need them for something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to a few of them just a few of them, not all of them There's some more of the hoses so we should, like I said, be all set with all those holes that we need. And I think we're good there. I think we're good. I mean, I'm going to have to do these sellings, selling off once in a while just to make sure that I'm good to go. But for the majority, I think we're all set. And of course, I need to continuously work on leveling these guys up because, well, that just is what needs to get done. Level up these traders along the way. Obviously, we got therapists good to go. 
I haven't even started on prep war, but we'll get there. We're back up to 722,000, and I'm pretty stoked about that for sure. Everything's looking good. I'm very excited about the progress we're working on. I just want to look at the tree range and see what we need for this. So illumination, illumination level three, workbench level two. What do I need for you again? <laughs> we have a while for the shooting range. Let's just say that. We have a while. Generator though, however, security level two, which we need a supplier for the other things. So we'll need to get another one of those. And of course, the TNT block we're still looking for. We're actually looking okay in this. I, I, we just need to find a few more phase rays because we've got to hold on to those. And then the wires was the other thing. So I need to start collecting the cables so I can start making them inside of the workbench. That she, which I did see one earlier. I should have held on to that. The endurance level one. So I need to actually start collecting. That's what I needed these darn things for. That's what it was. I knew there was something I was missing here. So I need to get another dry fuel. Obviously, I should have held on to that one. I knew there was a reason why I was holding on to those. This will be easy. Easy, easy peasy to get. Endurance level one, like I said, we'll have it off the first time even using the, the gym wrist area. This one's just going to be a very long time. So we'll get there, especially with Ragman level two. But that's like, what, level 17? Even more? Maybe more than that. Now I think about it. We have a lot to go. But I guess the ultimate thing I'll have to start working towards is this, because I can do this at any point, which will give us more space to work with our, our, our scaf, our stash amounts. So this really isn't that bad. We have all the WD-40 100 mils that I needed. A few more screws, one more nails, and then we of course need to get the hand drill and all the things we need 2.5 mil. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. So I'll get the money. No big deal. We'll end up getting it at some point within, I would say probably like 10 or 11 episodes. It's not going to be the fastest progress in the world, but it will happen nonetheless. So I think I'm going to end it here for now and we'll come back next episode and get a little more prepared, ready to go for our first pmc run and hopefully not our last we'll have five of them in a row we'll be able to run and hopefully we will make it very very far so if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the scavenger series make sure you give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about it what you're excited about for the future if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one